Well, hello, friends. Welcome back to my mom's house. Uh, my mom is out traveling, so I am responsible for her cat. Uh, and I thought we could make a video while I sit here with her cat. So uh, uh, I have a comment here from Cuzlocked who writes, Do you worry that as the Serenity OS community gets bigger, uh, you will lose touch with your audience? I've been watching for a long time, and while it's great to see the project grow, I'm concerned that at some point it'll be very difficult to get in touch with you. So uh, thank you, Cuzlocked, for asking about that. Uh, it's definitely the case that the project keeps growing and growing, and this YouTube channel has been growing as well. Uh, and as a result, I do have less time to spend um, per person on everybody who's interested in the system and in, in talking to me. But uh, I kind of think that the positive aspects of that outweigh the negative ones because uh, we have so many people participating in uh, Serenity OS development these days that it gives us much greater uh, range and flexibility uh, to build more advanced things and faster. Uh, and that's awesome, of course. Um, at the same time, I do recognize that there are some um, sad things. Like I, I, I do miss the, the intimacy of the early days sometimes where, you know, I would get like a hundred views on a video and one or two comments and I would write back to everybody and I knew everybody by name. And <laughs> it, was a, it was a simpler, um, more intimate time and it, it had charm for sure. Um, but you know, it, it is what it is. Like I, I can't, we can't go back to that. So, um, instead we have to figure out how to make the best of where we are now and where we might be going. Um, and, um, when it comes to my availability, uh, for stuff like development questions and, and development, uh, related stuff, uh, you don't actually need to talk to me about everything these days. Um, nowadays, we have a vibrant and active community on Discord where uh, you can join there and um, talk to somebody who's uh, working on whatever subsystem you're interested in. Um, and they might have more current, more fresh knowledge about that subsystem than I do, uh, with some exceptions, of course. Uh, but... Um, we're not in the same place as we were a year or two ago where everything would go through me all the time. Uh, there are, uh, the machine now is a bit more complex and there are more, more people, um, participating and helping steer the machine. Um, so that, uh, that is different. Um, and I definitely encourage everybody to to join the Discord if you have um, questions or if you're, especially if you're working on Serenity in any way uh, and you're not on there, um, you are missing all of the discussion basically. So uh, please join. Uh, but this is an interesting question though, because now that I have switched to working on this full time, um, it definitely has freed up a lot of uh, time and energy for me, right? And um, it's still very early, like I'm still figuring out how do I allocate my time um, now that I have so much more of it. And um, I've been experimenting with some, some new things, uh, like in the last couple of days, for example, I've just been going really hard on um, like a bunch of cleanup work and refactoring work that I've been wanting to do for a very long time and always just kind of put off because um, I knew that it would take multiple days and it was kind of boring stuff, uh, at least when I didn't have so much energy. Uh, but now that I have entire days to spend on this, uh, I don't mind going deep on cleanup in the same way. So that has been really nice. Um, but I also have more time that I could spend on uh, sort of reconnecting and engaging with uh, my audience here. So um, 
I mean, I, I don't have a, I don't have a plan or anything. I'm just thinking out loud. Uh, so I really appreciate that you ask about this, uh, because it is something I would like to do. Um, I guess the easiest and most straightforward way to do that would be um, to get back to making these types of videos, right? And um, maybe what we should do is just open up for questions. I think uh, that will used to be a great driver for this type of uh, content and engagement. So uh, let's do that. Um, please comment below with um, any question or any subject that you would like um, to hear about, and I will make a video about that. Um, and let's take it from there. Um, but I think part of me want to, wanted to answer this question to sort of prove to myself that I, I am not losing touch with the audience. But the more I think about it and the more I just sit here and talk, the more I realize that, um, that being in touch with my audience will require some active uh, work from me, right? It's, it's, if I don't do anything, it'll, it'll slip away from me. Like you will all just slip away and, and become um, something in the distance that I can't reach. And I don't want that. So, huh. wow, this became like really, uh, really introspective suddenly. Um, but I think this is a good thing. So yeah, let's just close on that note and uh, let's see what we can talk about. Please ask me anything. Um, Anything goes. I, I don't mind any subject uh, as long as I can um, cover it without having to research anything um, because I don't want to talk out of my ass about something that I don't know about. Anyways, uh, thank you for hanging out with me here for a moment and um, let's see what we talk about next time. Bye.